Hey guys. <laughs> Holy child. Happy Sunday, y'all. How y'all doing today? Girl, it is a time in the land. So I just wanted to come on here real quick and holler at y'all for a minute. Um, I had brought my daughter to the park. I don't know if y'all can see. She over there swinging. Hold on, let me roll them in the damn. She over there swinging on the swings. But anyway, um. Oh, I didn't say nothing, Snake. Okay. She thought I was talking to her. Yes, I brought my daughter to the park, so it's cold outside. But for some reason, the cold don't bother the children and stuff and everything like that. But um, I'm sitting in my car, girl, sitting in the car. But anyway, y'all, um, I wanted to come on here. Um, I, I'm feeling a lot better today. Yesterday, y'all, I'm telling you, they say when it rains, it pours. And, you know... Uh, the news about Auntie Fee, okay, for those of you who don't know, Auntie Fee, um, she has a cooking channel, and she died of a massive heart attack. Um, she had a massive heart attack, and she was in the hospital on life support, and they took her off life support Friday. Um, Friday was the what, 17th? I think Friday was the 17th. Um, forgive me if I got the dates wrong, but she had the massive heart attack, and she didn't pull through it. Um, after being on life support. So, you know, when I heard that, 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 that just kind of took me for a loop because I'm like, <laughs> and see what I failed to tell y'all. Okay. When I was, when I went into my hiatus for a couple, well, for about a month or so, one of the things that I had failed to tell y'all was that, okay, I kind of started feeling down um, around, was it around November or December? You know, I think it just kind of all built up because if those, if for those of you who may or may not remember, we lost three YouTubers, um, in like 60 days. Okay. I think November is when Jasper days had died. And then I think December is when Kiana also known as big cuz 52 died. And then in January, um, we lost Skittles Rivers. So I'm like, you know, that for some reason, when I hear about people dying back to back like that, that kind of sends me into like a funk, you know, like sort of like a, a sad, depressed kind of feeling. So with those three back to back YouTubers dying and then with me going through everything that I was going through, it was just way too much. And so yesterday, okay, yesterday, um, you know, we have received some bad news about um, a family member uh, through marriage, a family member um, through through marriage for me. It's my husband's relative um, had a heart attack suddenly. He had just seen the, the relative that morning. And by that afternoon, he was getting a phone call that they had a heart attack. So that kind of for some reason, when I get bad news like that, that just kind of brings my mood down. OK, it stops me in my tracks. So I was like, oh my God, I couldn't believe it. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go lay down because for some reason I can't, when I hear bad news, I, I, I can't handle, wait a minute, I'm checking on my baby, making sure everything is good. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. I got to keep an eye on the babies. Well, she's not a baby, but... You know, it's still, this is my damn baby, okay? Let's just put it like that. So that sends me into a funk when people, when I hear about people dying. Because for some reason nowadays, when you hear about somebody dying, it's always, you know, like bad news comes in threes. And when those three people died, that was bad. That, that was hard on me. And then when I heard about Auntie, I mean, when I heard about my cousin's husband, I said, you know, after about an hour or two, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go lay down. I need to go lay, I need to go lay down. But I didn't want to fall into a depression. And as soon as I laid down, I said, well, let me, you know, watch some videos on YouTube and try to try to pick my spirits up. Lo and behold, I go on YouTube. I said, well, let me go on my Instagram. Went on my Instagram. Check my Instagram. I had a, um, a DM. Somebody telling me that Auntie Fee had died. And I was like, oh, my God, no. Like. So that's number two. Within three hours, I got bad news. I was like, see, 
I said, I, I need to go to sleep. Okay. I'm already in the bed. Now I need to go to sleep. Cause that, that just took me for a loop. Okay. And I didn't want to fall back into a depression and I was really fighting it. Okay. Because things like that depress me when I hear bad news like that repeatedly. It, 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 I'm sorry. It depresses me. And I was trying so hard not to go into that deep, dark depression. Seriously. And lo and behold, late on that evening, I talked to my sister and more bad news. I found out that she was in a car accident the night before and a whole bunch of other stuff that went on. And I was like, oh my gosh, I, I just like, I was just like, I was just so outdone. <laughs> I was so outdone. So here we go again, three situations. Thank God it wasn't three deaths, but still like. You just never know. You hear people, you, you you know, you see people today and they gone tomorrow. You talk to people today, they gone tomorrow. You watch their video today and they gone tomorrow. Like, I am I was just so sick of bad news. Okay? I get so sick of bad news. My daughter, I don't know if she on her way over here or what. So anyway, y'all, so, uh, you know, but luckily, you know, joy comes in the morning. I was talking to one of my good, good girlfriends on Messenger, and she actually, you know, I was telling her, because I was just sending out the message to everybody, because I didn't know who all knew about Auntie Fee, and she was telling me that she had heard that morning about it, and I was, she was asking me how I was doing, and I was telling her, you know, I was doing fine until I got this news, along with some other bad news. And I said, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to stay strong because I cannot fall into that deep, dark, dark depression. And she was like, well, the one good thing about it is joy comes in the morning. And that is exactly what I needed to hear. I'm telling you, if that little message that she sent me did not pick me up, I don't know what did. Okay. So thank you, girl. Girl, my good, good girlfriend. I thank you for that that, that little word because I needed that because I, I mean deaths and people sick and all that 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 that, that 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 just sends me into a place that i don't like to be so thank god i you know i got up today i i, I actually did joy really did come in the morning i'm telling you i literally got up i fixed some pancakes for my my family um and i, I did go visit you know the relative that was in the hospital me and my husband um and then i went over somewhere else to, to help somebody else that's sick you know i was going to help them, you know, do some massages on their knee to help them out, but, you know, they were resting at the time, but, so, I actually, I pat myself on the back, I pull through it, because normally, I would still be in the bed depressed and down and out, so, I'm, I'm thankful that I was able to get up, and joy came in the morning, I was able to pull through, and I'm up, and I'm out, and now, I took care of all of that stuff that I had to take care of, and, and my daughter's at the park, um, and, um, we're going to go home. We're going to have a nice Sunday dinner. Um, we're having roast, macaroni, and cheese, greens, and we're having, um, some biscuits. So I thank God that I didn't fall into that deep darkness. You know, you have to fight your way out. That's what I've come to realize. You know, it's either going to get you or you're going to get it. And I got it, okay, because joy did come in the mo in the morning, okay? So I feel good. I'm glad. I'm happy. I want to continue to come on here with y'all. I don't want depression to get me to the point where I disappear. Because, you know, like from people hearing that news about Auntie Fee, people was like, girl, that's why I be so worried when you disappear. Don't do that. And I'm like, you know, and for people, you know, that, that, that calls me or text me or whatever or that message me or whatever, you know, they, they, they do. They be worried. They be worried about me. So I, you know, I don't want to disappear like that. I don't want depression to, to, to get me like that no more. And somebody was talking about them, them endorphins. Somebody had left me a message talking about, girl, when I get depressed, I like to watch, you know, funny stuff, comedy, something to get, because, because laughter, they said laughter get those endorphins going. And she's right. I know about endorphins. Endorphins, yeah, that they help you. you. You know, those dopamines and those endorphins, all that stuff is good and you got to get them going. So, um, you know, I was able to, you know, just watch because when I first laid down, I started watching some of Auntie Fee's uh, videos 
And I was just getting depressed. And I had to turn them off and go watch somebody else that was... I just had to go watch some other videos that was just like happy and upbeat. And, you know, I had to get out of it because I felt myself sinking. So I had to stop watching her videos. I literally had to stop. And I was turned on to her by my sister. I didn't even know Auntie Fee. My sister called me and was like, girl, you ever heard of Auntie Fee? And I said, Auntie Fee? I said, no. She said, girl, it was some. It was a it was a particular video that she wanted me to watch and she said girl go pull it up on youtube and lord if i didn't holler watching her and her son tavis child like i really enjoyed her so um you know i was turned on to her by my sister and then she died my sister was was done you know outdone when when i told her that auntie fee had died so rest in peace auntie fee condolences to your family and um you know, I don't know. I, I, I just don't want to hear no more bad news. But it's life. You know, it happens. So I just need to learn how to pull through it. Because, you know, if not... Because people are dying all the time. People are getting sick all the time. And if I let that kind of stuff affect me, you know, in the way that it has, then it's, that's not going to be a good thing. So I'm good. I'm, I'm happy. I, I thank you all. Um, who have been uh, hanging in there with me even you know once I came back off of my hiatus y'all was still here for your girl and I really appreciate that and y'all comments and messages and stuff you never know what you could say in a comment or a message that could help somebody you never know you you might just send a simple old comment or a simple old you know message don't think nothing of it but that could be the very thing that that person needed to hear so I'm, I'm I, I appreciate a lot of y'all Y'all really say some really wonderful things. You you know, I learn a lot from, from y'all, from reading messages and stuff. People be giving you tips and heads up on different things. And, and you know, I, I, I like it. So I just wanted to come on here, y'all, and tell y'all that I fought that depression. I kicked his ass, girl. And Joy came in the morning. <laughs> Horny. All right, y'all, well, look, what are we talking about here? 11 minutes worth of uh, yipper yappers. But, um, yeah, we got to pull through because a lot of people suffer with this depression stuff. And, you know, it's either going to get you or you're going to get it, girl. Okay? So, um, that's it. Make sure y'all hit subscribe. Make sure you share my videos, girl. And um, make sure you check out all my other YouTube channels that will be listed in the description box. And um, I will see y'all on the next video. Only if it's the Lord's will, child, because I, I, I don't know. My gosh. But anyway, I'm in a I'm in a much better space now. So that's that's wonderful. So um bye y'all. Girl bye. <laughs>